Hello Aries, it is time for your reading for February of this, well February to March of this current year. How have you guys been? I'm sorry it's been so long, so quiet, right? Let's see, am I going to do like a regular or am I going to do a thunder down this time? My friend texting me and I haven't talked to her in a while and I love her. I'll hit her up in a minute. <sighs> anyway, um, still taking personal readings if you want one. And this is for general Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. So it doesn't connect to you. Don't get all funky. Just means we're not in the same vibe. You know? It's just how it rolls. If you want to hit me up for a personal reading, my shit's down in the description box as well as my PayPal if you want to make a donation. Because I really don't charge anything. I just do them for fun, really. The beginning theme is the Ten of Cubs. Having everything. You're on a picnic. Having a good old time, right? Great. So let's see here. Let's see. Ace of Cups. The Empress. Prince of Cups. The Sun, Three of Wands, and then the Queen of Swords reversed Aries. Some of you definitely want like a new beginning, some new heartfelt situation. Wow, two cards popped up. With an Empress who is reversed. And then down here with the situation about the Empress, there's a truth moment. A clarity situation, seeing something for what it is. Huh. So an offer of love to somebody you're having a hard time connecting to until a moment of truth occurs, maybe? That's quite romantic, Aries. Prince of Cups. Oh. If someone wants to make an offer to a Queen of Pentacles, reverse. Someone who's a little bit demanding. Might even be this Empress person. Could be an earth sign, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo type. Somebody who might be the top woman, but right now she's kind of bitter and she's not really being giving about anything. That's what you're wanting. Maybe her to, even in an immature way, give an offer to you, but she's kind of withholding the pentacle. Like, no, not right now. Leave me alone. I just want to be left alone. Like, she's being all stoic and moody. What's going down here is the sun, sometimes Leo, I like to say. Six of Wands. I'm not sure how to take that. What? Wait. Okay, so definitely Thunderdome this time, right? Because now I'm just fucking curious. I don't know if this is you, Aries, or if this is the person you're dealing with. But it's like, the challenge here with trying to get... Like, you want this Queen of Pentacles, possibly, to, like, accept the love offer or give a love offer to you. Or maybe you're giving it to them. But what's going against this is this challenge of finding your happiness by going and fucking off and hanging out with other people. Is that what I'm getting? Because he's riding as a victor and there are people following him. With the sun right there. Trying to be happy with other people, I feel like. Being victorious in that. And it's just like... But you want to love this person. 
you want to have a heartfelt start with this empress. I feel like they're the same person, but they got their backs turned to each other, even though the empress is up right right here with this moment of truth. Like, you know that this person is um, nurturing and kind and loving. They're just not being that right now. Like, she ha they, they both have their backs turned to each other. It's like they aren't able to comply. So I feel like this person's having a hard time possibly expressing their love. That could be possible, Aries. But this three of wands right here in the rejections and the fears. Waiting for someone to come in with some talkative bullshit, huh? Somebody is afraid of waiting. Someone is waiting for some sort of communication to come in swiftly. Like to this possibly Queen of Pentacles, possibly the Empress too, possibly both of them, possibly they're the same person, but it's like someone is afraid and waiting of someone else writing in with some message towards the Queen of Pentacles. This is really weird, Aries. This is literally like awkward, and I feel like this is romantic more than anything. But that's up for you to decide. Now, what about this Queen of Swords reverse? Because that could also be this Knight of Swords as well. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Both of them can. So many cards flipped up, but not one that I think is right. Oh, there's one. Okay. Um, Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Someone's going to be cutthroat about it. Someone's going to be bitter about it. Someone's going to do it without really thinking about a brand new beginning. Like, there might even be, like, this idea of getting with a person. That's the catalyst as well as the final result. Like, like someone's afraid. Is someone afraid this Queen of Pentacles is going to ride off somewhere else to be happy? Like, is this the idea that the Empress might be having? Ending theme. Two tens. Definitely completion. Ten of Pentacles. Happy ending and financial stability. There were completions with these. This is also moving ahead. The Wheel of Fortune. Another fucking ten. Okay. This <laughs> is like there are three tens on the on the board right now. Just saying. Like there is a lot of movement. A lot of and that's fire. That's Sagittarian. So like all but swords are up here as tens. Like there's the ace of swords, but I don't know if that counts as shit at all. Um, but there's a lot of completion here, and things are moving ahead with the cycle. Shit, I was gonna play music for you guys. I'm sorry. Two seconds. It is rather quiet with me not opening my mouth, though, isn't it? There we go. Let's get into a groove, because that's what we need. Yeah. Might be some excessive fighting since the Five of Wands reverse popped up. When it comes with this Queen of Pentacles and this writing off to get away with some, this is a secret with the High Priestess. And someone has no idea what to do, Aries, with the Two of Pentacles reverse. Let's move on to the other player, because I'm definitely curious. Very curious indeed. Some of you might be curious, why don't you just cut this part out of your videos? And that's because that my program is very iffy and takes hours. Hours. Excessive amounts of time which I don't have. If it worked faster and more efficient, maybe.
All right, let's do this player two for you, Aries, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, player two. Two of Swords reversed. The magician or the Starman. Page of Pentacles reversed. The Fool or Sacred Clown. Ace of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Beginning theme is. And then the light. Justice reversed. Not being able to make a head over heart decision. Okay. Let us see, Aries. And those dealing with Aries at this point. Let's see. This Two of Swords, someone isn't able to make a decision about a King of Pentacles, the provider, the sustainer, the stabilizer, the foundation, the backbone. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo type. Too busy getting his shit done in order to focus on you. Someone's having a hard time deciding something with that. Like, someone's thoughts are clouded. They aren't able to judge correctly to make a decision. Come to a conclusion with the Two of Swords reversed. This fool's journey is versus just zapping things away and, like, eliminating stuff that's nothing but nonsense around him. Acting as the fool, the beginner, the person who's coming in with that soul energy is the king of wands. Could be you, Aries. Could be a Leo or a Sagittarius. Someone who is very much kingly. There's shit, right? Ooh, and the rest of them just came right up. Then we have the star man or the magician right here. That one which can manifest. Somebody can manifest something here. Someone might be in manifest mode. So be careful about your thoughts. Or someone's trying to create something with their own whatever. They're coming out of an illusion status. Like they're starting to see that there might be some emotional strings attached to things with the moon reversed. Could be with a Pisces. Could be with a Cancer. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles down here, which is going against you. A brand new offer, but it doesn't complete a cycle with the world card reverse. Like, something didn't get ended right. Or something needs to be finished. Like, something that's incomplete. Um, then over here, here is the Page or Princess of Pentacles reverse. There was a disappointment here. Something that was invested and didn't work out. And there was heartbreak involved with the fears and rejections. With the Three of Swords. Hmm. Like... I feel like someone's living within was living within the illusion that something some offer right here didn't get finished. Like something wasn't completed and now someone's trying to come out of that illusionary status in order to manifest something. Like someone wants to come out of the clouds with their confusion. But it's like they're waiting for this offer just to fix something. Like they're standing in their power as King of Wands saying like, I want a new beginning and I'm going to have it my way. Right? But they don't know what to do about this King of Pentacles. Like how am I going to deal with this person? And then there's this fear over here of um, the disappointment being the heartbreak. Like, that's what caused it to happen. Like, it just severed ties. It destroyed things. Like, someone is afraid that, like, this offer is going to do nothing but hurt more. 
And that's why I think of it as a disappointment. And here in the catalyst, as well as the final result, we have someone with the Three of Pentacles. And I like saying that this is more about balance and everything. Someone's trying to get themselves cleared out. Yeah. And they're come they're definitely trying to come out of that Eight of Swords energy. Like they've been feeling stuck more than anything. And they're trying to find balance. What is the beginning theme with this injustice? Like, justice is reversed. So this is, like, not very, um... It's not... It's like something was unfair. Yeah, something was unfair. And someone's trying to, um... Get over that unfairness with the Four of Swords reversed. Hmm. Like, something happened that I feel like it was an injustice. And two people are having a really hard time dealing with their emotions with this. Yeah, someone feels like they have to be on the defensive because they don't, like, they feel like there are people coming against them. They feel like they're alone in their protection. They have to put up a fight. And... Here we have somebody waiting to see and another person feeling betrayed. Hmm. I feel like someone is almost biding their time. Almost preparing themselves. Like, they're preparing themselves for all of this, and now they're just sitting here waiting. Like It's like they're trying to keep their defenses up in this situation. And now they're just sitting here waiting about what it is they're going to do about things. And this is all just such mental and craziness right here. Like, even over here, sword, just in the mentality of, like, this is not fair. Like, no one's taking a break from this unfairness. It's kind of sad, man. I don't know. But that's your reading for mid-February to March. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.